As the divorce rate keeps increasing, it still doesn't restrict people from embarking on a journey of marriage. It is true that we all want to show love and also want to be loved. That being the case, in this video, we will be discussing marriage issues that sometimes leads to divorce which are actually avoidable. Thank you lovers for coming back. Hi, if you are new here. Take a second to subscribe because you do not want to miss out on other insightful videos as this. Watch to the end for my weekly love's word for this week. The first cause of divorce you can avoid is the sex issues. I find it awkward when your marital bedroom troubles are set to a third party without first talking about it with your spouse. As a wife or husband, if you are not satisfied in bed, you should tell your spouse before anybody. If there are things you want him or her to do for you or to you, lovers, let them know. They just might not know you want it like that. They may even be feeling like you are feeling them on you. Your spouse is not a mind reader. I understand you might be shy to tell them, but then this other person you are telling, what would the person do about it? Call your spouse and talk to them on your behalf. <laughs> if you can teach them what to do, kindly do. I hate when women do not enjoy conjugation. I believe both parties should enjoy it, not just the man. But the bitter truth is, in most marriages, men are the only ones who truly get satisfied. This is not fair. This should be attended to. Don't just turn around when done. Ask if she is satisfied too. Okay, let's say she decides to say she is. She is your woman. You would know when she is just letting it go. It is time to stop getting divorced for issues that can actually be sorted out amicably. You can agree with me that your spouse cheating on you could be the result of someone satisfying them more than you. One last thing here. If you are impotent, be fair enough to tell your spouse before marriage. If they want to go ahead with the marriage, that should be solely their choice, not deceitfully getting them married to you. In the same vein, if you cannot get pregnant, tell them. Don't just admit they will understand or for fear of losing them get into the marriage like that. We are tired of seeing marriages from the outside and believing marriage cannot be sweet because of issues we see in it. Meanwhile, the issue is because you lied to them from the beginning and now that they are aware they can help but have affairs outside. This is not a judgmental video. No one is blaming anybody. Just do the right thing, not just for you but for generations coming after you. The second cause of divorce you can avoid is the money issues. Money really is going to be an issue, but it can be reconciled. Transparency is needed when dealing with money. Budget is another tool. Don't go beyond your budget. And if you are going to, go slightly above it. Lovers, your spouse, if they have your best interest at heart, should be able to help, understand and resolve your money issues calmly. If you are the one that keeps money better than your spouse, you will be in charge of the family spending. Being indifferent to how your spouse spends their money will affect you on the long run. Even if they are stubborn and won't listen, my dear, keep fighting through it. If they don't understand today, they will understand tomorrow. And you will be glad you didn't stop talking and correcting. Once your life is tied with that person maritally, my dearest, unless you have a plan of not being ruined financially, be very involved in the financial aspect of your spouse. The third cause of divorce you can avoid is the disrespect to in-law issues. It is very easy to throw tantrum when it is not your biological parent that is talking to you anyhow. Sometimes, your in-laws can be so funny with decisions they make on behalf of their children that you are forced to ask some questions angrily. To be on the safe side, use the silence method. Nobody holds words against someone who didn't see anything. They will just say you didn't see anything. You were only looking at them. If you really have something to say, make sure most of the family members are around so no one who is reporting what you said would add to it because everybody heard it for themselves. One other thing to master while talking is the tone of your voice. No matter how angry you are, learn to balance the tonality of your voice. It will save you a whole lot of trouble. Also, do not bother about when someone decides to lie about what you didn't say. It can really be frustrating, but learn to let it go, all for yourself. 
Also, when issues like this arise, the best person to send to them is their child. They know how they have been talking to their parents, so don't take it upon yourself to do their talking unless it's truly needed. Just forget the issues no matter how painful and remember your spouse is all that matters to you. For my last word for this week bonus, it is taken from James 5 verse 13. It says, Are you hurting? Pray. Do you feel great? Sing. This is the message Bible translation. Comment down below. I will make it work if you watch the end of the video. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed it and share if you found this video informative. Subscribe if you haven't. See you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.